Well, I guess the lawn mowing is like the new normal for the channel, at least until fall or winter comes. <laughs> hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and the one who's guaranteed to hook you on Linux, Gardner. 60% uh, of you guys are not subscribed right now. You need to hit that subscribe button. It really helps the show out. Uh, if you want to, you can actually check out the show on Library, where these videos go live much earlier than they do on YouTube lbry.tv slash at the Linux gamer. So there's been a little bit of a hubbub going on in the in the world, in the, in the Linux community in the last couple of days. Uh, just a little bit though, not a big one. Uh, Alan Pope was on uh, Linux for Everyone with Jason Evangelo. And in that interview, he said something that has rubbed a few people the wrong way. He said this. Uh, do you think there's anything um, that needs to happen to, to have a just a complete sea change in user perception and adoption of desktop Linux. Like if there was one thing, it doesn't even have to be realistic. Okay. Do you want the controversial answer? I, whatever answer you want to give me. Okay. I'll give you the controversial answer. Good. Stop making other distros <laughs> and, and only focus on Ubuntu. There's your, there's your controversial answer is forget oh, all the other distros. Oh yes. Okay. Here we only, go. only here we promote go. Ubuntu. And, you know what? I can't say that he's wrong, at least from a psychological standpoint. If you promote all these other distros, all these other niches, then it's very difficult. You paralyze the users with choice. Uh, if you if you give them just one option, just like there is one option for Windows and there's one option for OS X, uh, Mac yes. OS, yeah. give them one option. One of the questions I get asked most often is, uh, what the heck? What distro should I use? This is for new people who don't know what is going on and they they are interested in Linux, but they come to the community and they say, wow, look at all these choices. I don't even know where I should begin. There are probably hundreds of distributions out there to be fair. And if you're just coming to the community right now, fresh without any perspective whatsoever, that's a lot to choose from. Usually it's easier to just stick with the evil that you know, rather than something you don't know or understand, even if it's better for you. Now there were a few people in the community who missed the joke completely. Uh, at least that's my opinion. So that's the culture and mentality of this company. They develop nothing. And instead of actually start doing, they're asking others to stop. When asked the question, what needs to happen in order to get Linux to move forward and to progress as the desktop for everybody, Popey literally said, do you want the controversial answer with a smile on his face? Obviously, he was saying something he knew would be controversial. That's kind of the joke. Now, Alan does kind of have a reputation of saying... Hello? I don't know where I was. I got a phone call. <laughs> so the thing is, Popey's kind of known for his controversial statements. The joke was, yeah, it's a controversial statement. And of course, nobody's going to stop working on their Linux distribution in order to let Canonical come in and just be the default, be the only Linux distro. Of course, that's ridiculous. It's absurd. That's not going to happen. Uh, do you think there's anything um, that needs to happen to, to have a just a complete sea change in user perception and adoption of desktop Linux. Like if there was one thing, it doesn't even have to be realistic. It doesn't even have to be realistic. It doesn't even have to be realistic. So that's the culture and mentality of this company. They develop nothing. And the fact that there are so many different Linux distributions out there really makes for choice paralysis for people who don't know any anything about Linux. Now it's no secret that I became dissatisfied with Ubuntu, uh, even though it was my Linux distribution since the time I became a Linux user. And, and, and I'm now on Manjaro. Uh, Manjaro is a great distribution. However, when people ask me, what distro should I use? The number one answer that I give is Ubuntu. And it's really the only answer I give. I think that Ubuntu is still the easiest distribution to use to learn to get started with. Uh, I know that there are some neckbeards out there who are gonna say, Morty, just use Arch already. But that's really not how people work. <laughs> Ubuntu is just familiar enough uh, and just alien enough. And it's a great starting point for normal people who are just coming over from uh, Windows or Mac OS. Uh, I think Ubuntu is great.
And if you listen to the actual conversation that they had on Linux for All, you kind of get where they're coming from. You know what? If if I were to start a desktop Linux alliance and I were to, you know, realize that why not show people through the door and then let them discover the buffet on their own? I, I agree. The, the difficulty is trying to get uh, the Linux community, like you're herding cats, trying to get them all pulling in the same direction. And, you know, I listened to the Linux for All episode uh, with Popey. I didn't think there was anything controversial about what he said. Only after people started reacting negatively to what he said, did I th have to actually think about it. It didn't bother me what he said, because he's kind of right. The question remains, should Ubuntu be the default distribution that uh, people recommend for newbies? I don't know the answer to that. I personally, that's what I still recommend to people. There are some great contenders like Elementary, Linux Mint, Pop. Uh, they all happen to be based on Ubuntu. Coincidence? I don't know. But Ubuntu really has uh, done a lot for the community in terms of making Linux usable and accessible for non-neckbeards. And I don't think that we should discount how much better and simpler and easier Linux has become since Canonical started working on Ubuntu. And I know that there are some people out there who hate Canonical and will probably try and crucify me for what I just said, but whatever, I believe it. I just wanna say thank you to Webfreak and the 106 other amazing people over on Patreon who continue to support the show and make what I do here a reality. Uh, if you believe in the work that I do, you can support the show on Patreon. Um, if you can afford it, that is, please take care of yourselves and your family uh, in this weirdo time that we live in. I'm also live streaming on Twitch now, twitch.tv slash Zondak. I'm playing uh, some, some sweet games. Uh, Half-Life Alex. I'm playing right now. It's pretty cool. That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate your guys' viewership and support. Uh, I'd love to know what you guys think about Popey's uh, <laughs> proposal. It's not even a proposal. It was kind of a joke. But I think that he's got the right idea. Let me know what you think down below. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. Make sure you wash your hands and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.